Good afternoon, friends. This is Sister Gwendolyn Song. I'm on here today to share a prophetic dream that the Lord gave me this morning. And in this dream, he had taken me to the tribulation era, and I was inside the body of a teenager. So there were two groups of teenagers in the dream. One group were those who had taken the RFID mark of the beast and the other group, they were strongly opposed to it and they were on the run. So I was a teenager on the run in the stream and we had to go into hiding. And there were groups of us, groups of two and three, uh, and we were hiding out in abandoned homes. Now, the beast, through uh, his mind control computer system and through very aggressive advertising campaigns, he instructed those, those teenagers who had taken the mark of the beast to go out and help round up those who were non-compliant. And he did offer a great reward for those who assisted him in turning in those who refused. And then that was the end of the dream. So we know in the Bible that it says the Antichrist does cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive his mark. His mark, the mark of the beast. And by taking that mark, you will be eternally damned to hell. Now, there is no going back after one takes the beast mark. And if you're not aware of that famous Bible passage, whereby it states, my people perish for lack of knowledge. That's in Hosea chapter four, verse seven. This is a very important end times Bible verse. Do not reject the wisdom of God's word and do the opposite of it. Because there is no heaven around the corner for those who reject God's word. They take the mark of the beast and then they change their mind. You have rejected the word of God and the Bible clearly states that those who take the mark of the beast that the smoke of their torment will ascend forever in the presence of God and in the presence of his holy angels so this is a very strong warning again and I am a part of a small group of people who are on the earth right now trying to get out these end times warnings. Do not for any reason allow the government to affix anything in or on your body. Friends, do not do it. Eternity is much longer than this very short breath of life. This life is like a vapor. We are here today. We are gone tomorrow. But the question is, where are you going to go when you die? If you honor the Lord Jesus Christ, you make him the Lord of your life and you obey his word, then you are heaven bound. If you reject the instructions of Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 18, you're going to find yourself stuck in eternal hellfire. And once you arrive there in hell, you can't repent then. There's no going back to the way it was before. No second chances. So here is wisdom, friends. Understand this, that one day, in order to log on to the internet or to have the luxuries of this life here on planet Earth, you're going to have to give an identifier. And it will be very likely be embedded into a chip or a tattoo. And without it, you will no longer be able to participate in this fallen world that is heading to hell. So, you know, friends, you are now being divided as one of the sheep and the goats. So do not be a goat. Do not take the mark of the beast. Put on the full armor of God. Put your full trust in Jesus Christ. Persecution is coming and persecution is already here. And it will not be a picnic as those teenagers in my dream, they had separated themselves from those who obeyed the beast. And you know, friends, I've been talking about this for years, how they have tried to desensitize us to this word, the word beast. You have 
beauty and the beast. You see how they're trying to soften that word beast. You have, he's the beast, like he's a cool guy. You have the daily beast. There's all kinds of ways that the word beast is trying to be softened and acceptable in our culture as a very cool and acceptable word. But I tell you right now, in the kingdom of heaven, having the mark of the beast is not cool and it will land you in hellfire and do not take it. And these uh, teens that I was a part of that group in the dream, they knew it was wrong. They wanted nothing to do with it. So friends, I want you to please remember this dream. Please pray for the uh, younger generations right now. Pray that they will be able to to stand firm on the rock of Christ Jesus to the very end. Pray that they will not cower and give into this intense peer pressure, this intense persecution, which is coming to the earth. All right. All right, friends. Well, I love you all. Uh, Sejo sends his greetings as well. And I will talk to you real soon. Good day.